So in this video, we're going to talk about the student preview tool, the edit mode tool, and why you should use them. Um, in the upper right corner of every Blackboard course that you're enrolled in as an instructor, you'll have a couple of options up near the top right. Let's start with the edit mode. You toggle this on and off. With it enabled, you are able to see all of the content that's currently unavailable to students or areas of Blackboard or even links in Blackboard that are unavailable to students. If we um, turn off the edit mode, we lose the ability to see those things. So the menu looks much cleaner now. However, this doesn't give us a true view of what a student sees in a course. If we really want to know what a student sees, whether or not they can access an assignment or content that we've posted, because inevitably we'll get a question where somebody says, I can't find the test or the assignment's not available. And it's usually just a date issue or we forgot to make it available. But if you really want to see those things or even look at how the My Grades area looks for your students, you click this small button right here. It says Enter Student Preview. This puts you in the course as a student, so you're able to see everything. You'll notice you lose access to that dark course management menu with the Grade Center. So you can actually work through the class. This is what the Grade Center or My Grades looks like. So they can click here and see the rubric, or if it's something that's been graded where we've provided feedback, they'll be able to click that assignment to read what we've typed for them. Um, they can, you can see, you know, you can check your content area to make sure your files are visible to them. The big thing I'll tell you is when you get ready to exit the Blackboard student preview, near the top you're going to see this orange bar that says student preview mode is on. When you click exit, it usually the first time it'll present you with this settings menu. If it doesn't, you want to click settings. And I like to use this option, keep the preview user in all data and click save. The reason I do that is so that way, well, I frequently use this student preview. So I'll get into my own class, try to submit something to an assignment or check to see if my PowerPoint or my new video is available to them. So it really helps me do minor troubleshooting or it helps me kind of figure out if I've missed a step or forgotten to check a certain option on, on all the different things in Blackboard. So you exit the student preview with the exit preview button. And now you're back to your regular view. If for some reason you forget to exit the student preview, you can just log out of Blackboard. And then when you log back in, you'll, you should be presented with your normal instructor account.